Hello, I'm Aubrey St. John from Cessna Team Structures. Lightning strikes happen pretty frequently in the aviation industry, and some operators may not know the necessary steps to take after a lightning strike when it comes to structural concerns. So I wanted to take a few minutes to touch on the key action items to observe when a lightning strike occurs. The first thing you'll want to do after your aircraft has experienced a lightning strike is review Chapter 5-50-00 of the Maintenance Manual. This will cover the unscheduled maintenance check and inspection items of a lightning strike. This section of the manual will cover inspections for various structural members of the aircraft, including the fuselage, stabilizers, and wings. In this section, you'll find a link to complete the lightning strike reporting form. You will need to fill this out and mail it to the address provided. Once you've quantified the burn damage caused by the lightning strike, you can do an initial cleanup of the burn site with a soft bristle brush or similar soft abrasive pad that won't remove undamaged material. This will get rid of any loose remains to reveal the damage a little better. It is also a good idea to take some conductivity readings around the burn site to see what area of the structure may have lost its original temper. Typically, any abnormal readings will be very local to the actual burned area. Provide the part number of the part damaged and we can provide the material specs for your NDT company. Now you can take some photos of the areas of damage and submit a structural damage report to our team for review. Take some photos from far enough back to give us the overall location of the burn site, then get up close so we can see the details. If you have any questions on this process, please give us a call at 316-517-6061 or send us an email at csstructures at cessna.com.